Yes, yeah, you are. Definitely. Don't take it for granted. <laughs> Absolutely not. Quick as I could, I went to my locker and shoved the book inside. As good a book as it was, it was infinitely... I, I was infinitely happier that I had Maya around, so I didn't have to read it. Without her, who knows what I would do with myself. Especially with PBG staring at me like that. Maybe I could ask her what was up with him when I met her at the cafeteria? It might just be the way that she wa that he was. Cheered, I headed for the cafeteria. I carried my melon bread through the minefield of people, searching for the now familiar sight of Mai's red hair. Where is she? I couldn't see her anywhere, and there were almost no empty seats. All around me, students circled each other, laughing and joking, sharing bites of food, and splitting the cost for sodas. Suddenly, I felt very obvious and very alone. Isn't there anywhere I can sit? Just then, I spotted a table at the front of the room. A lone boy sat at it, stabbing his spaghetti with the vigor of a Roman general. He was having a hard time with it. Should I, should I do the meme, Renee? Oh, God. I hope she made lots of spaghetti! <laughs> that is an old meme. That is such that is a really old meme. That's a 2007 meme. I thought you were going to pull an Undertale reference. No, not this time. Though, I mean, if somebody, somebody needs to combine those, clearly. Oh, boy. <laughs> anyway, I moved closer to him, working up the courage to ask to sit with him. Well, no wonder, he was eating his spaghetti with a spoon! <laughs> Wait a second. This, this guy was in my class, wasn't he? I saw him that morning at the front of the room. He was wearing a jacket just like the normal boots clubs, but different. Just like it, but different. That is very, yes. <laughs> a gold and gray jacket with an 8-bit block on the front. Was he a member of another club? Or maybe he was just friends with them. Hey! Hey, what? Anna! Oh, Mai! Mai appeared between me and the boy, who glanced up at us before returning to his spaghetti. Thank goodness I found you. I saved a table for you at the back. Oh. I looked at the boy and then back at Mai. Come on. She grabbed my shoulder rather forcefully and pushed me to the back of the room. Hey, what's wrong? Well, you are so lucky I got here when I did. That kid is Brutal Moose. His real name's Ian. He's from the Hidden Block Club. The Hidden Block Club? <laughs> yeah, the rival club of Normal Boots. He's really weird. I mean... She looked around her to make sure that no one was listening in. We were completely alone in our little corner of the cafeteria. He speaks in Comic Sans. <laughs> you know, that's that's beautiful. I I just my my <laughs> Is your she a Textus? <laughs> the the your knowledge of the fourth wall transcends uh, even like I'm trying to think of another game that does that. I mean, extent, Undertale. <laughs> I mean, I mean, there's Undertale, but I'm trying to think of other examples because I, I know there are some out there, but I haven't seen them in a really long time. Probably, uh, what's that point and click adventure game where it's like, it's about pirates and the, the guy's name is like Guy Freebrush or something. It's oh, Monkey Secret Island. Of, yeah, Secret of Monkey Island. I think that yeah, game does that, stuff like that. That does it a bit. You know. Uh, yeah, that's that's all I got. <laughs> yeah, that's all I got. I, I know Tales from the Borderlands does it if you die. Gotcha. They they call you out on it. Mm -hmm. But yeah. Um, whoa. Yeah. Yeah. It'd be better to stay away from him. Especially since you've already gotten to know some of the normal boots guys. What are you talking about? I only just met John today. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, right. I saw the way PBG was staring at you. He totally likes you. Oh man, there's Mai with the shipping goggles. Really? really? <laughs> Is that what you thought that was? 
Either Mai was blind or she had a serious case of wistful thinking. Oh, totally. It was so cute. Just like my favorite manga. You meet in high school, fall in love, and then go off and fight aliens together. <laughs> Is that what we're going to do, Renee? Are we going to go fight aliens together? I, I don't think that's possible with her and technology. Oh, no. Also, both of us were graduated high school. Darn it! <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's going to happen. Have some faith in yourself. That's totally what's happening. <laughs> um, so, now that you're in good with PBG, can you introduce me to Jared? Oh, was that what she was getting at? Mai. <laughs> <laughs> A hot flash of doubt seized me. Was it possible that Mai only liked me because she thought I knew the Normal Boots guys? No, 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 no. No, no. That couldn't okay. be the case, though. She was so nice. Still, looking at her shining and eager face, I couldn't talk myself out of the idea. Uh, I actually thought PBG didn't like me. What? That that is a long one. Oh yeah. <laughs> Why would you think that? Well, he was glaring at me. <sighs> Man, you just don't understand. It's a love triangle. A love triangle. That I mean, is not how a love triangle works, Mai, and you know that. I mean, at least it isn't Homestuck where we can, where we can have a love dodecahedron or whatever. <laughs> I, I gave up on trying to keep up with shipping in that comic because it got to the point where it was just dunzos. Oh yeah, it's completely ridiculous. <laughs> Wait, a triangle now? <laughs> My... <laughs> you, you are an indecent human being. Oh no. My, are you being appropriate? <laughs> I can see it. Stars practically erupted from her eyes. Oh god. <laughs> I forgot this part. Oh no. <laughs> Go, go for it, Renee. I can't. But Hana, I love you. Ah, oh, PBG. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> My. My, are you being Mai. appropriate? <laughs> no, she is not. Oh, my goodness. Uh. All right. Where are you going with this? I slammed my fork onto the table. Mai looked pleased with herself. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm just kidding. You're really cute when you blush. You almost match your hair. That's not fair at all. <laughs> I beg to differ. Still... I searched my mind, eager to change the subject. That was an impressive scenario. What? What? No, it wasn't. I just made it up on the spot. <laughs> Mai laughed nervously. Oh, so that girl who was talking to me when we got separated... Mai told the story of her past friendship with this girl like they were eternal arch nemeses. Apparently, they had some bad blood. I nodded, choosing to take the time to relax. Before I knew it, we were finished eating. We got up and tossed our trays together. As I headed towards the door, though, my head hesitated. Um, hey, I forgot something back at the dorm. Oh, need any help? No, no, I'm totally okay. I'm just gonna go get it. I'll see you later, though, right? See you later. Okay, see you in class. I waved and my sprinted off in the direction of the dorms. Alone again, I crossed my arms and headed back to Poppy Hall. Large groups of seven or eight people were laying out in the sun, playing catch and eating lunch on the, on the lawn. It looked like fun to have so many friends like that. I smiled. Maybe this new school would really help. <laughs> 
me uh, be better than my last. Without students inside of it, Poppy Hall looked a bit like an abandoned hospital. Oh no, we're going all Silent Hill over here. <laughs> That's not a good comparison at all. No, not not at all. My footsteps echoed as I climbed the stairs to the fourth floor. With a sigh, I opened up my locker and pulled out the book Satch gave me. It was a good thing I brought it, after all. I stepped into the classroom and saw a flash of movement by the window. A boy sat on the windowsill. He jerked up when I came in. He was silhouetted by the afternoon sunshine, so I couldn't quite tell who he was. Um, um hello. I'm sorry, did I bother you? The boy stood and shook his head, then crossed to a desk on the opposite side of the room. As he passed, I was able to see him clearly. Another Normal Boots jacket? This guy, no. he was Shane from the Normal Boots Club! How on earth did this keep happening to me? <laughs> well, here we have the lampshade. Hello. Shane Hello. said... Yeah, Shane sat down at his desk, fidgeted with his hands a little, then turned to look at me. You're the new girl. I nodded. My name is Hana. Nice to meet you. He nodded. Hmm. Shane. Silence filled the space between us. Panic built up inside me. This was my chance to get in with the Normal Boots Club, and I was blowing it! This is I... not your chance, Hana. No, no, this, this isn't is not your chance. your chance at all. Not even remotely. I walked to my desk and sat down, setting the book on top of it. You, uh... Shane looked at me, unsmiling. You're part of the Normal Boots Club? <laughs> yes, I am. Why? He spoke as if it were a challenge, almost glaring at me. Uh, oh, I... I just saw your jacket, so... I trailed off. The jackets are really cool. Okay. Yes, they are. Sh uh, <laughs> silence again. He seemed skeptical, as if he expected me to crawl out of my skin and reveal myself to be a large, amphibious reptile! <laughs> I mean, apparently that's what girls are into. Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> I had to do something. Who knew what another chance like this would come? But Shane didn't seem friendly. In fact, he seemed downright suspicious. Surely he wasn't onto me already. Maybe uh -huh. it was better not to risk it? Onto you about what? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> you, you have no goals at this point except <laughs> make friends, Hana. Yes, Hana, you I must utilize the power of friendship to maximum effect. I, I guess she did at one point, like, sort of say to Mai, hey, that looks cool. Mm-hmm about, like, the Normal Boots Club, but really, she she hasn't had, like, a set goal of getting in there yet. And yeah, not really. It, it's pretty obvious that she's not even interested in what they're interested in. Yeah, I mean, she's already stated that she had, doesn't really know anything about video games, so... Yeah, like, yeah. I, I don't... You, you don't really have a goal here yet, Hana. <laughs> In any case, uh, here we have another one of the important decisions of the game. This one will decide whether or not Shane is a dateable option later. And so I'm going to try talking to him. Uh, so you, you play games then? Shane looked over at me. I've always been interested in video games, but I didn't get to play them much growing up. They're really expensive and my dad couldn't afford them. But I used to go over to my friend's house to play there. Shane didn't respond. Now what? I was out of stuff to say. What did you play? What? What? Oh, uh, Nario Kart. We go into battle mode on the triple deck. He would drive around by himself on the top level, and I'd try to booby trap the lowest level. There's a good spot next to the ramp. I'd wait there until my mom came racing down the ramp to find me. Then smash her with a red shell. Shane's angry stare faded. He was smiling, sort of. He made the whole room seem ten shades brighter. Or maybe I was more relaxed. <laughs> Your mom must have been mad. She was, <laughs> but she always let me do it. Probably on purpose. Did your mom... A door slid open. 
Mimi and her friends, a couple of chattering girls, entered the classroom. They stopped and stared from me to Shane. It was clear they thought they were interrupting something, even though we were just sitting on the opposite ends of the room. Uh, sorry. No, it's fine. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't happy they caught me talking to THE Shane of the Normal Boots Club. The girls went to their desks and sat down. What were you... Shane was staring at me again, an odd, hurt look on his face. Aww. I immediately felt like I was caught doing something I wasn't supposed to. Did he know what I was trying to do? What what are you trying to do? You're, you're not trying to do anything, Adam, <laughs> yet. <laughs> but I mean, it wasn't like I didn't want to talk to him. He was an interesting guy. It's not like I only talked to him because he was in normal boots. Or but he turned... Is pulled out a notebook and some pens and scribbled away, thoroughly ignoring me. The air was stuffy. I tugged at the collar of my shirt, sweating. The girls kept looking at me over their shoulders as if expecting something. I smiled hesitantly at them. They smiled back, then started a conversation amongst themselves. The atmosphere was broken. I heaved a sigh of relief. What was up with these normal boots guys? John was really nice when I spoke with him, but PBG and Shane seemed to hate me. Some people just aren't big talkers. Yeah. <laughs> when there's a lot of people around. Yep. They were anything but normal. I waited for Mai to come to class, wanting desperately to tell her what happened. But when the bell rang and Miss Shizuka started teaching, Mai still hadn't come. Oh no. Mai, no! 